Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? Hope everybody's as well as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so. Uh, today I'm uh, now going to do a video on the parade gardens. Um, it looks like... Um, Yeah. If you're on a, a no, weekday in the, the winter, then it doesn't look like you have to pay. Um, because the gates close at 3pm. Um, November to March. There's no dogs, unfortunately, allowed. And it just shows you the different parks. Henrietta Park, Sydney Gar Park, Royal Victoria Park, Alexandra Park, Hedgemead Park, Kingston Meadows, and there's a map of the place as well. Botanical Gardens. It's nice and lit up, which is nice. There's a rail. Um, there's also some toilets as well. Uh, Royal Horticultural Society receive uh, it's received uh, rewards, which is excellent, and it absolutely looks stunning. Um, there's a litter and dog waste, uh, public toilets there, unisex and disabled access. And I think if you're disabled or want to walk down a hill, then you can go that way down. Park or garden maintenance guy, which is always nice to see. gives you some information on the garden's origins and animal parade, mystery photograph, award winning gardens and it gives you again a map of the area. There's also like a first aid thing, an emergency for an ambulance in case anybody takes ill lifeboat ring and there's also some tree planting which is also good there's a litter bin and I think that again events will be held here in the summer plenty of places to sit This tree was planted by Councillor Mrs. Jan Hole, Mayor of Bar, 1st of December 1985. And again, there's some seats around the tree. Also, there's um, 
a statue of Prince Bladud. And what looks like his pig. Oh, not what we have here. Eco La Fleur We Pose Le Chan Chanel We D Knit Marks It's nice to see writing on a seat. If you like reading, you can do what this um, woman's doing, reading a book out here. Some beautiful flowers and seats around. Some of the seats have uh, names on. Uh, for people that have died uh, unfortunately and have donated a seat which is lovely of people look we have here Mozart in memory of Mozart uh, 1938 to 90. 85 from his mother absolutely gorgeous and then there's a barn a bandstand which is always lovely to see I would imagine it had out like a stage in at summer time. Bath, uh, Bath Iron. Bath at uh, National Heritage Ironwork Group. It gives you information and some writing on it. Which is nice and it's nicely painted up as well with music and planting all around and more bins and plants again really lovely to see and more trees This is the sundial. It's been a pillar in the parade garden since 1916. But from the British Sundial Society. Wow. It's absolutely brilliant. It's really good that it still remains here.
carita. Exilim, designed by Maureen Hose, Hoser, celebrate 50 years of Britain in Bloom, 2014, from Bath Building Society, which is really nice to see. And this is Princess, oh, but sorry, Queen Elizabeth. with the sundial behind her. And what the old time events look like with the bandstand. Wow. So yeah, some photo graphic what it looked like the parade gardens um, back in 1952 oh no 1951 so all in all I definitely recommend coming here um, again there would be entertainment um, in the summer with or maybe at Christmas at further into Christmas with an event so I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now have a nice day wherever you are in the world thank you bye